Hey my friends, how are you? Let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Dallas Cowboys on the prowl to steal Hopkins from the Patriots in ring chase? While the Dallas may not have the money left to offer a DeAndre Hopkins, might they have a chance to sign the coveted free agent receiver, offering a better chance of winning? The New England Patriots remain favorites to sign Hopkins. And at this point, it looks like a two-team race, as he has offers from the only teams that visited Pats and Tennessee Titans. During an appearance Monday on The Rich Eisen Show, Darlington said he still believes Hopkins has a place in Buffalo if he wants it. My understanding with the Dallas is, yes, they love DeAndre Hopkins, and he would be a great recommendation, but they're not going to pay him, he said. If he wants to chase the ring, there's a place for him. In other words, does Hopkins prioritize more money, which he can get in Foxborough? Or does he want to play for a legitimate Super Bowl contender, which the Bills offer far more than New England or Tennessee? At 31, this will likely be Hopkins' last big contract. But he also never smelled a Super Bowl during his seven-year career, playing in just six playoff games. If it becomes a DeAndre Derby simply won by the highest bidder, the Patriots will be nearly $18 million short of the salary cap. The Titans have $8 million and Buffalo approximately $5, according to Over the Cap. But if Hopkins wants to win, Buffalo should have chances to lure him with quarterback Josh Allen and receiver Stefan Diggs over offers in New England, Mac Jones, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Tennessee, Ryan Tannehill, Trey Burks. The Dallas Cowboys brought him in for a few different reasons. First, depth was a concern last year as it is a potential ward this year. Jabril Cox was recovering from an injury, and Damone Clark was still on the injured reserve list. Second, having a linebacker on the roster that spoke the same language as the linebacker's coach, George Edwards, was critical. Lastly, inserting a leader in the room to pair with Leighton Van Der Esch helped solidify the middle of the defense. While all of those reasons are valid, having that veteran leadership is transferable to any position on the team. What about the tight end room? There is one particular free agent who comes to mind that could bring a presence to this unit. And you fan, what do you think of the DeAndre Hopkins situation, leave your opinion in the comments.